Welcome back to Projects on Board. It's Ferrand here, and today we are kicking off in a pretty good spot. So between episodes, as you can see, we've kind of had our hands full with a few Zets. Hasn't been anything unbearable. They've been coming through pretty steady, so didn't really feel the need to record it. But what I have been doing is kind of holding our gear in a shelf. I've spent a lot of time looting around this place and we have filled to the brim. We still have three more warehouses to go through and I kind of get the feeling they're not warehouses at all. So there's three big old industrial cubes down here. They could be warehouses, they could also be train yards. Both could potentially be equally rewarding. I'm really really hoping they are because I could absolutely do with some weapons. So we came out here with the intention on getting maybe some axes, plenty of wood glue and just general gear. So far we've found a lot of wood glue and that's about it. We found a bunch of mechanic parts which will eventually be needed but right now they aren't really crucial. A couple of books which again I think we've got so kind of not really a lot of value in them at all. If we found them like a few months back would have been unreal. Now not so much but that's okay. It's yeah, it's one of those things. We've got to make the most of it as it comes, and we've kind of done well. It's been a pretty good trip. We've tested his resilience to the absolute fullest. He managed to survive an onslaught of Zeds in a random warehouse in a random town with a helicopter over overhead. You can't really beat it. He's definitely stepping up to the, to the legend leaderboard, that's for sure. We're currently about five months in. And he's still just flying. He's doing incredibly well. Five months... Ah, four months, 29 days. Tomorrow will be the fifth month. Killed five and a half thousand Zeds. And he's still going strong. We're still kind of unfit. We're working on the strength. And the skills that are flocking behind it are unreal. Is that an annotated map? A Louisville map. Kind of thought that was a box of 223 rounds as well. But it's just a box of screws. And that is okay. Ah, uh, there was a spear. That's the only reason I came into these guys. With a magazine too. Beautiful. Plus some 9 by 19 rounds. Thank you, sir. Dump that on the ground before we get too carried away. Nicely done there, boy. A little bit banged up, but it'll do. It's better than nothing. Ice cream man is on the move. <laughs> He's got a terrible habit of coming around just as my recording schedule is kicking off. Classic, I know. Maybe I should start sacking off recording, just getting an ice cream. Sounds way more pleasant. Sure you guys would agree. Come on, fellas. Let's just get this over and done with. Beautiful. So I would like to check this truck out. It's been the only reason I'm heading in this direction. To no gain anyway. Annoying. Nice little brand new car there. Wonder if that's got gas. Ah. Down she goes. You can have that. I will absolutely take that spear. Let's see what we got. No gas. Once again. Good at that. Twitch.tv Kellawag 40. If you're a Twitch man, go check it out. That's it. If they're making if they're making class projects on board mods, they deserve all the recognition in the world. Give them the free free advertisement in exchange. Ah, oh, can we get any scissors? That's a lot of zeds. Ah, oh, is that a window? No, not anymore. <laughs> Just a hole in the wall. Ah, Christ, that's a lot of Zeds. Oh, and they're on the move. Nope, 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 nope. Got incredibly lucky there. You should have had me, really. You and me. You and me are friends. Even if I did just stab you in the face. We are friends. Uh, anything else? Another needle. I'm going to take that because I will absolutely lose it. I do have one in the bag, which has been another just perfect, 
perfect result from this little trip. Is this just all going to be trains? Yeah, I think so. Well, mighty long train as well. Anything up here? Lead burner, pear seeds. I need to get a pear tree going. I do like a good pear. Metal working. Now this is a bit more like it. Not really stuff we're after, but not bad for the most part. Hunting card, rats. How does this work? Trap, mouse trap. Cheese, processed cheese, peanut butter, chocolate, bacon bits, apple, orange, tomato. All pretty good to be fair. It's quite a funky card to have. I'm gonna keep it. Oh, I want a torch down here. This is terrifying. Um, I also kind of want a machete. A trusty hunter knife is not built for this close range. Not of our skill level. Oh, what we got? Can hear someone banging. The gourmet a magazine. Ooh. Hang on, what was that? Make jams? No, not even close. <laughs> Don't know where I got jams from, but it's the first thing that came to mind. Another scarf, might take that. It's not much, but that extra neck protection can be a game changer. And it's just one more thing for them to grab before they grab you. The amount of times I've been getting bitten from behind lately, probably come in handy. Right, let's just get out of here, I reckon. Not really any need for me to stick around. Uh, I guess we could sleep in there. Another tool belt as well. I did get a comment about those the other day and was very reluctant to take it. Thought you couldn't store axes and things on them, but apparently you can. So I'm gonna play the game, see how we go. We do have a tent in this, this one, I think. I think I might go just grab that and relax. Spend the night in here. It's a good spot to be fair. As long as we can actually get that up. Uh, put up tent. Perfect. Alright, I'm going to wrap up warm and get some sleep. I'll see you guys in the morning. We took the chance and it was very successful. We've also had a bit of luck with this as well. I don't remember the tool belt having these two front bits. I always thought it was just the back two and you could put like a cordless drill and stuff like that on there. Which would have been very, very handy a few runs ago. But. Yeah, when we did actually use it, we never never used the cordless drill, never even found it. So it was kind of just useless. But with this, we can actually, we, we can use it, you know? Uh, that's annoying. Very annoying. Uh, yeah, with, with this, now that we've got the additional two slots, it's almost invaluable. Uh, please be open. Beautiful. That's a whole lot of Zeds out there I do not want to have to deal with. Let's just take care of all of these guys as quickly as possible, please. Hopefully get an axe and go. Brilliant. Oh, that's actually quite handy. Doll, a toy car. Nothing we really need. Yeah, and just another, just another commercial train. All round by the looks of it. Oh Christ, I did not see that guy there. Let's just get out of there. Did not like that one bit. I'm just going to assume that the last one's going to be exactly the same. Go get a truck and go. I don't really want to deal with this if I don't have to. We're just kind of wasting weapons for no actual gain. Let's go get our truck, load up our gear and head on home. It's about time. He's had enough fun here for two days. And we've just got a tiny bit more fun. <laughs> Why? Why are you doing this to me, game? I just want to go home. Oh, that katana's a dream. It's pretty much brand new as well. Just a shame we've got to go through so many Zeds to get it. And whoever's lurking behind us too. Another stop sign, Zed. Let's just get that bad boy out of our offhand. Shift it back into the bag. Do the old loop-de-loop -loop and pull ourselves a katana. Wonderful. Unreal. 
That is honestly outrageous. This trip has been perfect, start to finish. And it tested the skills in the process. What, ah, oh, what a few days. What a little journey. I'm well happy with this one. <laughs> it's a rare sight, but when they do come in, they do come in. And they do come in well. Uh, beta blockers, go on in. Just a sneaky one. Probably should get the katana out for this. This is going to break in maybe five more swings. One, two, three, four, and a five. Oh, no way. I was so waiting for it to be the sixth one then. Okay, we'll hold on to this a little bit longer. Easy does it. Easy does it. One big old swing for you. Another one for you. And top it off with your downed friend. That's perfect time. I was just about to switch to the axe as well. I will keep that in the car. Just because the amount of duct tape we get that we don't use, we may as well just just take what we can, you know? Had a comment about it maybe two or three seasons ago now. Going back a while. And it just kind of makes sense, doesn't it? If you're going to have duct tape you're not going to use, make it useful. No brainer. I believe it's just in the corner of this one. Hopefully we can just stop in, load up, and get out. Probably would have made more sense to back it up right onto it, but that's okay. Maybe we just unload the bag onto this shelf. Shift it straight over. Don't even think about it, my boy. Not for a second. There we go. And yeah, we can just reload all of our gear straight into the bag. It does have a brain in there sometimes. Even if we don't use it often. Don't even think about it. You dog. Transfer all. Let's get ourselves reloaded. All loaded up. Let's get out of here. It's going to be nice to get home, to be fair. It's a shame we haven't got any food or anything to come with, but that's okay. This quest wasn't about food. This quest was about finding himself <laughs> in the nature of the world. Nah, we've done well. We, we've got a good haul. I'm very happy with how we're leaving this. And the place is 90% looted, I'd say. There's still a bunch of mechanical stuff here and a bunch more stuff that we can come back for if need be. But right now we don't need it. Right now I'm happy walking away and just forgetting about it. I will make a note on the map though because I will absolutely forget. And then it will come around to me needing stuff and you guys will be shouting at me before you've even got a chance to get to the next episode, you know? And by the next episode I'd have gone on some ridiculous trip into the middle of nowhere and yeah, done something we could have just got around the corner. Classic me, I know. <laughs> Learning my own characteristics and they are just toxic and painful. But so fun. I'll see you guys when we get home. We made it safe and sound with a pretty banged up front end. I did do a big skid and just plow into a tree. Not ideal, but yeah, still kind of in one piece. Kind of. Do want to check out the back door. That's the first place I do want to go. It's clean. It's clean. And it's clean. Nice. This little buffer worked. Worked an absolute charm as well. Lovely. Okay, well, first things first then. Let's track down our scissors. I believe they're in with the tailoring gear. Please be right. Yes, beautiful. I've got a lot of uh, things to break down. We did gain some thread as well, didn't we? If I'm right. Yeah, there we go. Nice. And we can finally unfavorite you. Unfavorite, get you in there. Job done. Lovely. Alright, so when we break down rags, I believe, we can now turn them into thread. We get like these little thread pieces, and when you break down one single bit of cloth, it turns into... I'll show you. Unravel one. It turns into a thread piece. And if we do all 13 all the way up to... The big old number 100. 
We should be golden. Should we just do all 192? I mean, I should have definitely done this inside, but hey, nice. Well, before we go too mad then, <laughs> let's uh, scrabble all that stuff, get it inside, read the next book, get some food. Christ, we're starving out here. What are we up to? Oh, there's definitely a pancake waiting for me, isn't there? Yes, there is. Uh, I might keep those on me for now. Get that light in there. You know what, we could just do all the dirty racks, couldn't we? 145. Oh, yeah. Before we go too mad, twist thread pieces. Put thread pieces in a box. Make thread. There we go. We got one hunter. Gives me a full load. Beautiful. Beautiful. Our base is actually starting to lag as well, which is wild. First time I've ever had a laggy base, and it's like stuttering every now and then. Not good. Not good at all. Let's get one pancake whipped up and ready to go. Alright, what have we got? Pear jam. Maybe some pineapple jam. Maybe some strawberry jam. And some maple syrup. There should be some lard and stuff we can put on there too. Margarine. Scuff that bad boy down. And our hunger is almost clear. Christ, he must have been starving. It's been a very long time since we haven't cleared the uh, the hunger. Maybe a can of tomato. That'll do. Nice. Alright, somewhere amongst the mess, I've got a bag full of books. Where that is, I don't know. Don't think I've built a bookshelf yet, have I? It's not back here, is it? No, we cleared out all of these. Hmm. Hmm. I know exactly where it is. But luckily enough, we've got a Taylor and Level 2 book right here. So we left that book in the green truck at the other base. I can't remember what the place is called, but we left it down there. It's just sat there ready and waiting. We just need to go pick it up. But it's just finding the time. For now, though, Taylor and Volume 2 is all we need. I'll see you on the other side. Our brain has just grown a big, big chunk. Oh, we've still got a load over here, don't we? A lally. Are all of these red? Yeah. Nice. Alright, let's start a day right with a tasty, tasty pancake. It, I wish I could do this. You have no idea. I love pancakes. They're so good. I just don't have the time to make them. And it's so sad. Perfect. Alright, what are we going for today? Strawberry jam. Maybe some orange jam and pear jam. Spruce it up a bit. Maple syrup and the classic margarine. Can we get anything else on there? No. Let's just get her down in one. Beautiful. All right, we've got 145 dirty rags. Let's see how much we can make if we just unravel them all. So we're starting at 3.39. Ah. Interesting. Does it in like random, random bits. That's okay. I'll take it. So we've got one extra load of thread. Two extra loads of thread. Uh, make thread. Plus a bunch of extra pieces. A stupid amount of rip sheets to just smash out the rest of that leveling. And a bunch of, uh, bunch of good stuff. Uh, where's that needle? Cannot go losing that. Uh, I think it's just in here. Yeah. I'm going to keep one in here permanently. Every time we use it, it immediately goes back. That's that's a rule. <laughs> we can't break that rule. Thread and rip sheets. Nice. Now for the fun bit. So, little tailoring tip for you. If you've got a lot of just gear and... No, what am I saying? If you need to get a lot of tailoring XP, find a set of overalls or just something with a lot of options to add pad into and just do this. There is a mod that makes this a lot easier, but I'm yet to add it. I've been told many times I've had three people message me directly about it and multiple comments. I haven't forgot. I'm just a nightmare. <laughs> That's all there is to it. All right, we are slowly running dry on thread. I wouldn't mind just adding pad into all of our gear before it runs completely dry. Make M60 belt pouch. Interesting. So sheet, 
Oh, that's class. I didn't know we could do that. That's very handy. All right, let's maybe just remove all of those. Get this in there. And then, yeah, whatever gear we've got, we want to add leather strips and maybe some denim strips if we run out. So where are you, military green jacket? Let's add some leather padding to you. Should probably clean it all up as well, repair it. Not bad. It's coming along. And the trousers are the one. I've been getting a lot of grief over these for a very long time. It's going to be nice to finally have them back together. Patch hole with a leather strip. Did I just take the dirty denim strips? Yeah. Yeah, I did. We're running very, very dry on thread. Don't like it at all. Um, okay, so jacket's done. I hate how just ridiculous they look. But it is what it is. Patch all holes using leather sheets and add pattern tool using the same. Can we do the scarf? We can. One big old leather strip on there. Any more for any more. Guess this could be repaired maybe. No, can't be repaired. Doesn't surprise me, but I thought I'd give it a whirl anyway. These add pattern with leather strips. Patch a hole with a leather strip. Perfect. I need to get him cleaned up and I need to get him slept. He's a tired, dirty man. None of it is what we want. Not really. Let's get all the scissors and stuff, the thread, the needle. Perfect. Just like that, we are back on top. I'll see you guys bright and early. I did make a nice fruit salad just to have before bed as well. And it's kind of just made him depressed. <laughs> There's a lot of, a lot of unhappiness buffs to it, but he's just not happy. Sorry, mate. Do apologise. Uh, what can we have for you? They'll sort our unhappiness out in no time. And it helps our hunger. What a day. Nice. All right, let's just to wrap up the rest of today. We've got a lot of Metal Gear just hanging about in the road. I think I might grab a bag and just take a trip. Unload absolutely all of it. Or load up absolutely all of it. It's been a long time coming. How's our generator looking? 25%. Wow, that looks battered. Maybe we should do that first. I believe we've got a bunch of metal parts in there. We have one. One electrical part. Oh, I need to start breaking down some watches. That does not look too clever at all. Uh, have you got a watch? No. Please tell me you've got a watch. No. Okay, well that one and done is going to have to do for now. Oh, that does not look too clever. Not at all. That's going to be great for our electrical skill though. Maybe we just break down some of the radios and stuff. We're never going to use this car. Let's just gain a radio from it. Juan Radio. Disassemble. Don't really need the gear, but I don't want to leave it out in the street. Turn off. How much does it give us? Like 5%? Yeah. So we need like 10 scraps at any given time, really. Just, yeah, just to play it safe. That's not even like a safe bet either. That is, that, that is just what it is. Um, any of you guys got some goodies for me? One digital watch, I'll take it. You'll do nicely, my dear friend. Okay, scrap gear, that is exactly what I'm after. Hello, beautifuls. Don't know why I opted for that. Really should have came for you. Haven't quite gotten clear of that yet either. That rain came at the perfect time. Oh, a little urban camo bag. Very nice. Two watches. Thanks, friends. Some nice urban camo. I love that stuff. Oh, five, five, six rounds as well. No idea what's in that. Ah, oh, jacket. You guys, man. You guys are treating me way too well lately. Don't know what is in the air, but the Zomboid gods just, just know what's up. All right, all the metal stuff is what we're actually after. Just round it all up. There's, so I was looking at crafting recipes yesterday, and one of them being, uh, what do you call it? Um, a long 
crossbow bolts. Now they take like a one or two scrap metal per thing plus a couple of sticks. So if we can build up a bunch of those, we can just hit a town dead silent. It'll be class. I'm so excited. Pretty sure our metal working skill is there, so thanks friend. Glad the military is still active somewhere. <laughs> if we can uh, whip up a bunch of those and kind of hit the ground running, it'll be damn good. All right, what do we need? Um, I believe it was just metal working. Uh, crossbow. Be somewhere on here. Improvised. Maybe there is just one called crossbows. There we go. Craft a long crossbow bolt. We don't want that. We want craft wooden crossbow bolt. Three sturdy sticks and one scrap metal. I believe one of you makes eight sturdy sticks, does it not? Yeah, yeah it does. So if we can use one of you, a bunch of twine. The twine would have been handy. String. Use 100 pieces to make a spool. Need to read Survivalist Magazine number two. Maybe we have read it. Maybe we just, we're just yet to learn. Have we got any twine in here? Bound to have a little bit, surely. There's no way I've just ignored all the twine. I mean, it's something I'd absolutely do, but still frustrating regardless. Okay, I guess we're not doing that just yet. I haven't even got any glue. That's how on it we've been. <laughs> Either way, let's just clear out this ammo. You know, I'm bound to have something. There's got to be something in here. I'm not giving up. Let's just have a quick peek. Stanag mags. No. No, there really is no twine. Christ, what have I been up to? Why don't you guys tell me? <laughs> Throw the blame. Throw the blame. Alright, let's sort all of this out later. We can add another bag to our roster and not bat an eyelid. Um, twine. Where would you be if you were twine? Not in that corner. Can tuna. Maybe we'll make some tuna pasta. Can we add whatever to this? Fill empty cooking pot. Get the pasta in there. Get... Ah, oh, can we not not add the stuff at all. Okay, fair enough. Well, we're going for a wild one. Uh, dried lentils. Some chives. Some dried white beans. It's just with a big bean pasta. That'll do me. Is there any more that I can get in there? Sure there is. Yeah, there we go. That's more like it. All the condiments. Nice and tasty. Perfect. Let's get this on the burner. And we could probably just put these in some bowls as well. That'd be a bit nicer. Make four bowls of pasta. Lovely. Fresh, cooked, and ready to go. Have one for the road. I will eat that tuna today as well. I was kind of hoping we could turn it into something though. But that's all good. I'll take it. Oh, I didn't even get any habanero peppers in there. Ah, oh, that's annoying. That's very annoying. Alright, twine. Someone's got to have some twine. There's no way I've come all this way. Not picked up a single piece of twine. Do you know what I mean? Somewhere out there. I mean, to be fair. It's something that I would ignore. So I won't be surprised. I'd just be very disappointed in myself. Christ, even that's filled with gear. <laughs> Why have we got so much gear? I feel like this is maybe the only place it could be. Gravel. If anyone wants some gravel, I have plenty. Turpentine. Fair enough. No twine. Well, I guess that immediately makes top of the list for next episode, doesn't it? Maybe we head back to town. Bound to have some twine there. Can we just... Search for all of these. Was that a propane tank? Yes, it was. You are coming home with me, my friend. Okay, that one's empty. 
grapefruit seeds. Haven't had a grapefruit in forever. Just do one and two. Box of nails. Okay, this weren't completely empty. Mm. Yeah, we can take that on the tower. Tear that tower down, boy. Start on the big one. There we go. I don't know how these were four high when this building is only three. But that's okay. I won't question it. Oh, so open for some twine. Sorry, right. we're getting some wood, we're getting some nails. It's the important thing. All right, let's head on back and probably call it a day, I reckon. We should really get them cleaned up before we go. It looks like a storm is coming in. Perfect time to do it. Get it done. Not really waste too much water because it will just instantly get replaced anyway. Wash yourself and wash everything else behind you. Lovely. Wow, we are finishing today a nice clean man. And... I bet he's very grateful for it. Smash out some of those. Let's drop off this propane tank. And then, yeah, round it up right there. Gotta love you and leave you on the comfort of our floor. Thanks for watching. Massive thanks to member supporting the channel. Like, subscribe if you enjoyed. Hopefully, stick around for the next one. Peace.